Okay, if you walked with me in setting up the Twilio with Go High Level, purchasing the phone number there, now we can go over to Twilio and set up the zip trunking so we can import that phone number into uh, Assistable. So let's go ahead and do that right here, right now. We're gonna walk through this pretty quick again, so just make sure you pause as you need to. Select your Twilio account if you have not yet. What we wanna do from here though is we wanna make sure we select our sub account that we want to install this in, okay? So in this case, we, we got Create Assistance V2. We're just gonna go right in there. We're going to scroll down. I uh, actually don't need to scroll down. Hit Explore Products on the left hand side. And we're gonna go to Super Network Elastic Zip Trunking. Now from here, you may see a slight bit of a different button here, but click Get Started and Manage Zip Trunks. So now we have a little bit of a fun thing to do right here. So obviously you can see I've had a test one previously here. We're gonna create a brand new one. We're gonna call this one AI Caller. And we wanna go ahead and enable a call recording. We wanna enable uh, the zip refer and we wanna save. And then from there, once it's saved, we're gonna to go to termination. Uh, and here we have a couple different things to do. Uh, you wanted to put in a unique, uh, basically a unique word, uh, and uh, it doesn't have to be anything specific. So I'm just going to go out to Supra. I don't know. It sounds cool. And, <clears throat> you know, why not? And it is available. So uh, just put something in there. Put as many numbers behind there as you need to. Um, for my use case, typically, I this is not displayed anywhere. I don't need that to look perfect or beautiful, okay? But what we wanna do is we wanna copy that and copy this for importing into Assistable later on. So just remember, either copy this now, write it down or something, or remember in termination, the termination SIP URI. That is what we want to use later on. Now we wanna go ahead and add two different um, IP to the control list here. So hit the plus sign. We're gonna go over to the documentation that Jordan uh, made so kindly for us. And you should have the link either underneath this video or somewhere else, maybe in the previous document that you walked through with me. Let's scroll down all the way over here to the point where we have the default ACL1. Copy that and copy the zeros. And remember, we have a one right here. So now, since we have this open here already, we're gonna select a one right down here. And we're going to paste in, oops, in the zeros. And we're going to paste in the name, default ACL one. Create ACL. Let's go back to our documentation here. Let's do the same with this. Copy, copy, remember a one. And we're going to hit plus, scroll down, one, paste, and paste. Boom. Doesn't take all day long to do something for five minutes, does it now? Here, let's go down and save this. If this is not saving properly, if it says something like uh, that the subdomain can't be renamed null because the domain isn't the owner or something of that nature, then try just making this more complicated. Just put some more numbers or something in that. I know it might sound super rookie way to do that, but it seems to work. And whatever works is what I go with. Now let's go to origination. <clears throat> let's scroll down to, let's not scroll down too far, actually right here, <laughs> right on the top. Don't scroll down. Um, we're gonna go back to the documentation, scroll down in the documentation a bit, to the point where we can copy the zip URI. Copy that, go back over to Twilio, hit that add new origination URI button, paste it in and leave the rest the same, hit add. Now that we have that done, what we need to do is we need to make sure that it's saved, which it looks like that is saved automatically. Now we wanna go over to our numbers. And as you can see, we have no numbers here. Uh, any Twilio zip trunk phone numbers, okay? So whatever phone number you have, either that you've purchased previously or whatever it is, uh, what you wanna do is uh, you need to add it, uh, add the existing phone number, okay? So in this case, the one we bought, bought in uh, Go High Level beforehand shows up for us here now, okay? Um, if you don't see it show up, 
that could be because you have your zip trunk created in a wrong sub account. So just make sure you have that connection uh, correct. Now, um, even if you buy a new one, uh, you may, you will not see it show up here right away. So you buy the phone number and then you go and click add existing phone number and check mark that and add the selected there. So now this is done. Okay. So we are complete over here now, like boom. What we need to do now is go and import that into a system. So let us do that next. So let's go ahead and navigate over to our assistable. And let's go ahead and import the number. Go ahead, <laughs> go ahead. Um, so we should also have the, the raw format of the phone number here, which I didn't grab. Let's go grab that right here. Boom, 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 boom. Copy that. Paste that. And over here, what we want to do now is we want to paste what we copied beforehand, the termination URI. Mine was Elta Super 12345, and then I had the PST, da, 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 dot PSTN, dot Twilio com. And now the final step. It better not break. It worked. So there we go. That is how you import a phone number. And now what we can do, we can go ahead, we can connect it to any assistant, we can call from that. We can text through the assistant. We can also go into our contacts and start messaging and texting it, same as we would use any other Go High Level phone number. Okay. The one limitation that I have found with this is that you can't use it for um, manual like uh, calling now, right? So, uh, but for AI, it should connect properly and obviously work well for that. So, I hope this has been helpful. Give it a thumbs up uh, if there is one to find close to the video and I appreciate you sticking with me.